This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. We hope you had a spooky weekend. I'm Emma. And I'm Olivia with your morning announcements for Monday, October 3rd. This is the last call for any students who wish to obtain a university PIN number. A student must receive a PIN number in order to apply to university. The sign-up sheet is located outside of Mr. Nordoff's office and students have until the end of the day to sign up for one. And speaking of universities, the sign-up sheet for the Laurier University presentation is posted outside of Mr. Nordoff's office. The presentation will take place on Thursday at 1.15 p.m. in the cafeteria. Today is the last day for you to submit your order form and payment for the new Spiritwear. Please bring your completed order form and payment to the Student Council office during your lunch. Any students interested in being on the Executive Committee for Halloween for Hunger are invited to attend a meeting today immediately after school in the chapel. If you are interested in being on the committee and cannot attend the meeting, please see Ms. O'Keefe in the Chaplain's Office or Ms. Nicole in Room 319. We encourage any students considering joining to come to the meeting today for more information. Homer Club begins tomorrow and runs every Tuesday and Thursday from 2.30 to 4 in the library. It is free tutoring in Science with Mrs. O, Math with Mrs. Lawler, and English with Mrs. McHugh. Forms are available in the Guidance Office and Library. If you have any questions, please see Ms. McHugh. Mr. LaRock would like, to think, would like to invite all of the students that showed interest in the game club at the, at, in the game club at the club fair last week to the weekly game club meeting tomorrow at 2.30 in room 337. Thank you for Mr. LaRock. And speaking of clubs, the computer club meeting that was scheduled for today has been cancelled. Thanks for Mr. Paterakia. The girls' rugby season is still a few months away, but that doesn't mean that it's too early to start getting mentally and physically prepared to defend our championship title. No previous experience is necessary to join, and there is a position on the team for every body type. If you are interested in playing rugby this year, put your name on the list that is posted in front of room 308. There will also be a preliminary meeting tomorrow immediately after school in the gymnasium. Spirits were about the only thing not, damp not dampened at Thursday's McNabb Cross Country Meet, where the Gales battled through rain, wind, and cold to respectable finishes in all their races. Way to go, team. Runners, we'll see you today after school for practice. The senior boys football team lost a hard-fought battle on Friday versus the St. Thomas Moore Knights 25-0. The team is looking to rebound as they hit the road this Friday to take on the always tough St. John de Brebeuf Braves on their home turf. Good luck, Gales. Any students interested in being on the swim team should attend a quick meeting tomorrow after school in room 206. Swim team practices and meets will be discussed and parent permission forms given out. All students are welcome. Thanks from Coach Lucier. And lastly, there will be a midget and junior girls basketball practice until 5.30. And those are, and those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a spooky day, Gales, and thanks for watching.